South Africa faces numerous challenges in terms of connectivity, access to technology and the like. Here's a fascinating solution to that problem. It's called the CloudGate. It looks like an Apple TV, but in fact is a mini computer. If I lift it, you'll see there's numerous ports, including three USB ports. There's an Ethernet port for network connectivity, HDMI for high definition TV, even a micro SD port uh, on the other side of this little device. The most interesting thing about the CloudGate though, is that it was designed and developed in South Africa by a company called Cloudware. And with me in the studio, I have Brian Timperley, the managing director of Cloudware. Tell me, Brian, why, when there are so many solutions of this kind, would you make one especially for South Africa? Or are there solutions of this kind? You know, what we wanted to try and achieve with this is uh, really enable a low-cost computer for uh, the South African and African market. Uh, the, the device uses a, a fraction of power, and uh, we really wanted to design something that was specific for the markets locally. So it can run on very low levels of bandwidth in order to access uh, business applications, education applications, and consumer applications. And uh, we've really focused on making it relevant to the South African and African market. So it runs on Android. What about the Windows market? That's right. So natively, it's an Android device. It currently runs Android 4.4. Uh, so the latest version, and we do like to keep it up to date, so as the new versions come out, it will be upgradable. Uh, when it comes to Windows, obviously business and education primarily run on Windows applications still. So we've got a, a piece of software that was written in South Africa called Cloudware, and it allows a very light uh, remote connection to your business server so that you can access any Windows-based applications on the device as well. Uh, Microsoft Office, SAP, Pastel, Oracle, uh, it's unlimited in terms of the access. Is this going to be rolled out to the rest of Africa? Absolutely. We actually have quite a few customers uh, up in Africa at the moment, uh, mining houses and uh, a lot of uh, pharmaceutical companies. So as that move happens into Africa, it's primarily satellite connectivity that they rely on. And Cloudware as a technology works very well over high latency. So satellite is actually an ideal medium to run the connection across. And you can do it on a smartphone or a tablet instead of having this little box. Absolutely. This box is really an option. It's a very inexpensive and sustainable computer that uses very little power. But uh, if you need to run to a meeting or you don't have one of these boxes available to you, you can click on the Cloudware software on a tablet or on a smartphone and uh, you'll be able to remotely connect to the session and continue working on those devices as if you were in front of your desktop computer. Thank you, Brian. Excellent. Let's have a quick look at the specs of the device. It's a quad-core computer running at 1.6 gigahertz, which is fairly fast for a processor of uh, this size. It has two gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes of solid state storage, but you can upgrade that to 32 gigabytes on a mini SD card. The idea though, is that you're going to be connecting to the cloud and you won't need that much uh, storage. This is what it looks like once you have it connected to a monitor, a keyboard, and Wi-Fi as well. But you can use it in a number of different con configurations. You can, instead of using it through this box, use it on one of your other uh, smart devices. It's a, a solution made in South Africa, made for Africa.